I'm glad that you're here with us uh, for our daily devotion. And I'm back in the prayer garden, and I want to tell you an interesting story that happened right here about a month or so ago. We were getting ready to turn the irrigation system on, and so workers were just behind, right where you're looking at, from behind the camera. They were back in there getting ready to turn on the system. And we were here looking at these benches that you can see that I'm sitting on right now. And I gotta tell you, uh, they didn't look good. For years and years, we had not done anything to them to treat them, and so they'd kind of, they were gray, and they had, well, I don't know what was growing all over them, but they had stuff like growing on them. And so you wouldn't wanna sit on one of these benches. And one of the thoughts was that we would just replace these benches. But the person who was working with the irrigation overheard our conversation and he said, well, listen, if you're getting rid of those, I'll take it. I'll take those benches. I'll take both of them. And I just, for a moment, I just kind of wondered why would somebody want them so bad because they didn't look very good. But then it dawned on me. I knew what he knew. They're not just regular benches. These benches are made out of teak wood. In fact, there's tags on these benches. The benches that look like they were ready to go to the garbage dump, if you had to replace them, would be over $1,100 each. We decided to keep them. We begin to realize their value. And the neat thing was, Larry Keller came. Thank you, Larry. Great great guy in our church that does so much for us in so many different areas. Larry came in and he began to retreat them, to bring them back. Now I can't help but think, isn't this an example of what Jesus is able to do? That Jesus himself is actually the one who knows our intrinsic value. He knows what we're worth. So he's willing to say, wait a minute, I know you might think that's just worth throwing away, but I want you to know something. This is worth so much to me that I'm willing to restore it with his blood and his grace. He's the one that gave everything on the cross for us to restore us. God never, forg never gives up restoring us and bringing us back. So if you ever sit out here in the prayer garden, and I hope that you do, You'll look at these benches and know they were restored. And the reason we restored them? Because they have a lot of value. You and I do as well. Let's pray. God, thank you for the value that we have before you. There's a lot of things that would tell us that we don't matter. People and circumstances, mistakes we've made. But you are the God who knows our intrinsic value and you say, yes, I love you. I understand that you don't feel the same about yourself, but I love you and I care about you. You matter to me. And so God, you went to the cross to restore us. Thank you so much for that. May we be mindful of how much we are loved by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day in the Lord, and may you never forget how much God loves you and cares for you and how he loves to restore us. He did. And if you get a chance, while it's so beautiful around here, come in someday, sit here, pray, and remember the God that restores us. God bless. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Bye-bye.